Hey YouTubes, Canadian Biker here. Ooh, that was slippery. And I got a little subject for you today, but I'd like an input on what you guys think. We have our law that states that you have to ride with someone for the first year so they could gain knowledge of the rules of the road and how to handle your motorcycle and whatnot. Pretty much the guy has to be on his own motorcycle, not able to talk to you, not able to give you any hints whatsoever, but you have to ride with this person. Now, in my experience, I actually found a guy and went for a three or four hour ride with him. Now, when I'm riding in the neighborhood around my place, I'd say probably the fastest that I've been, or the most reckless that I've been, is, you know, 10 or 15 over the speed limit because I'm not a complete idiot I'm on a bike that can go very fast and I don't have the skill or expertise yet to be able to ride it really fast so I wouldn't ride it really fast and injure myself this guy that I found and needed to ride with because that's the law well this guy's a he was on a Jixer a 750 GSXR not to be an asshole, but he rides like a guy on a fucking Jixer. So we're on the highway, and this guy is blasting speeds. He's going, you know, close to 180, 190 kilometers an hour. So I guess that would be like 110 or 120 miles per hour, which is pretty dangerous. Um, it's not like we had traffic or a lot of people around us, it was always these big empty streets. But it's just the idea that it was the first time I was ever riding on the highway. And just the brute impact of the wind was more than I was expecting. I went up to maybe 130, 140 max. But the wind was slapping me around like I was its little bitch. I'd never been in that situation, I guess, with the wind hitting me. Uh, it was inside my helmet, it was hurting my ears, it was just smacking me around like... It wanted me to call it daddy. Or something. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that means. But pretty much what I'm trying to say is... I was going a bit too fat, a bit too fast for comfort, and I find that a lot more dangerous than allowing me to ride alone by myself like I am doing now. Now they might say, okay, well at least now you're you're controlling yourself when you're riding because you don't have your proper license, so you don't want the cops to catch you and lose your license and whatever. And then I would say, well that's stupid, that's like saying, well we don't want you to have guns because if you have guns you're going to kill each other. It makes no sense whatsoever. You can't punish an action before it was done. That would be like arresting people in England before the royal wedding. Arresting people because they thought that they might possibly commit a crime. Preemptive arrest is what they were calling it, which I find that to be pretty abhorrent, abhorrent, ab whatever the word is, pretty disgusting. So yeah, all that to say that I found that what I was doing riding with the guy on the Jixer was a hell of a lot more dangerous for me, a hell of a lot more dangerous for the people around me than what I would be doing if I were riding by myself. I don't know. I think the entire system is flawed and I wish there could be something that we could do to change it. But winter is coming and I guess I'll just wait winter through. I'll do my exam next May, get my full license and ride wherever I want and then this entire subject is going to mean nothing to me because I'm going to have my full license. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you liked any of my videos and you forgot to give a thumbs up, go back, give it a thumbs up. I'll be happy. Canadian biker out. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Out of the freaking traffic. Bikes are about three quarters of the length or half the length of a car. You remove two bikes 